Well, hello, gang. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install new windows in a mobile home. And uh, I'll tell you right up front, not all mobile homes are the same. But these older ones, they use windows with nailing fins. So we're going to go back with new construction windows because why? New construction windows have nailing fins. Now, we could have pulled these out and you can install replacement windows in these well the replacement windows do not come with nailing fins so we would have to take the siding off flash the window opening and uh, uh put the side and you know put the windows in flash tape flash that uh and all that and it would just been uh it been rough um so we just uh we did it the way that the manufacturer did we caulked the fins so well they used uh tape but uh <clears throat> so anyway this is the fasteners i used these are self-tapping inch and a half uh screws with the uh flat head or not the flat head but the uh, hex head on them they're, they're pretty good size heads um they will uh cover those slots in the nailing fin and this is a close up here. Make sure you get several of these drive nuts that fit them because you'll probably, you know, if you like us, lose them or uh, misplace them or, you know, your helper uh, go home mad or something like that. So anyway, um, just get several of these nut drivers. And um, I, I think we could have got it by with inch and a quarter. Um, I'm sure we could have, but I just felt better because the old ones were probably an inch long. And I just wanted uh, something really meaty into the studs of these. So I had not pick up. And I think we went through 500 screws on this um, this install. There was 13 or 15 windows. Um, what, the big windows took like 36 or 46, something like that. I think one of them took 46 screws. So um as you'll see now this next clip these are um new construction windows that do have the nailing fins and i had a video of me caulking the fin and i don't know where it went i cannot find it so what you do this is the inside of the window and you will caulk uh, i ran a bead of caulk right over those slots where the screws went um and all the way around uh, some people say well you don't have to do the bottom go ahead and do the bottom you're there, you know, it takes a little extra cock. Make sure you do get the inside fin, not like my helper who uh, wanted to do one by himself. So I let him, he ended up caulking the outside of the fin, put the window in, realized the cock was on the wrong side, flipped the window around, put it in backwards. <laughs> I said, it doesn't work that way. So here's the old windows. You can see uh, me taking these old screws out here. Uh, some of these, the frame on the inside, I had to reframe this one um because it's just rotted and some of these screws wouldn't even come out um so i got my little pry bar and pulled them out but uh basically this you're going to take all these little screws out and then you're going to clean the siding we use acetone to clean up and get the old they use like a poly what was that butyl tape i think is what they call call it something like that and it was just it might have been good for the first couple years but after that um it just went to crap you know i'm going back with 100 percent silicone um and um, that's that's what you need and you can see here this one's this one wasn't too bad some of them were just really really nasty and um look at that see all that's got to be replaced and i do it before um i continue on here and here's the new window uh, again, caulk those uh, right there. That's where you're going to run your caulk, and because that's the inside, and you're going to. It's real simple. Now we had to trim some of the siding, the metal siding on some of these, but here it is, all caulked in there. You can see the caulk oozing out. That's what you want to see. Don't scrimp on your caulk, and always make sure your weep holes are on the outside, and don't cover your weep holes up. Here's my little helper. He's done his best to put all those screws in. Um, did a fairly good job. Um, but, uh, and it's really simple. I mean, just about anybody. There's a finished product. 
It's, uh, it, they made good looking windows. These were double paned, ener energy efficient windows. There's my, in the window, <laughs> after I put the new frame in there, there's my, um, uh, toilet flange. That's, uh, so everybody can, you know, drive by and see your mobile home art. So, uh, but this is how it's done. It's really simple. The, you just want to make sure that you get your, um, get plenty of silicone behind those fins and and clean the siding before you put silicone on here's the here's a before we had this big window out and uh, this may have been the one that took 46 screws i'm not sure but a lot of them took a lot of screws man i could not believe we went through almost 500 here so guys it's girls it's, it's really simple. You, you can probably do this yourself. You just got to be careful. You need help, especially on these bigger windows, because uh, these things aren't cheap. Even these, I think, were crest marks. I think you got them like 100 and some of them 150 bucks a piece. There it is after we got it done. Uh, the big one, um, the one we were doing on the end was a bathroom one, but um, he didn't want the opening. He, this is in his bedroom. He uh, on one side of his bedroom. The other side did have an opening window, but this one he just wanted a one big P window, and uh, that's what he got. So hey, I appreciate y'all. Uh, like and subscribe down below, and don't forget to check out the blog. I'm putting stuff up there all the time now, and all the time, but regularly. So Donald Blue Collar DIY.com. Thank y'all for watching. Catch y'all down the road.